Hi guys, welcome back to Savvy Social Events. It's Jazz. Thanks so much for watching today. So I'm going to talk to you today about how to price your event right. Because you don't want to end up in a situation where your cost is too low and people are wondering why is the cost so low compared to what I think I'm going to get for this event. But you also don't want to price it too high and then have not a lot of people show up because it's out of their price range. So I'm going to share with you my strategy for how I price just right. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, of course, with any event is to get your budget together. Know exactly how much this event is going to cost for you to host it. Get all of your expenses together and in alignment. I actually have a video on how you can create your budget if you need help with that. After you get your budget together, then think about how many people do you think are going to actually attend your event. And you can figure this out by past events that you've hosted, or if you haven't hosted an event before, you can look to the attendance of other events that are similar to yours. But just kind of get a gauge in terms of how many people you think are going to come to your event so that you can then add that to your budget. Another good thing to think about is the average cost of events for like yours for your city. So some cities, um, events are going to cost a lot higher and for other cities, the cost is going to be a lot lower. And this is dependent on the audience for your specific event. So it's not necessarily what the general, you know, average income is for the entire city, but you want to be thinking about the average income for the specific people that are coming to your event. And that's a different population than the general population for your city. So you have to do a little bit of research when it comes to that. And I also have another video that can help you out with that if you need assistance with that. So once you've got all those figures together, then think about one of the most important things in determining the cost for your event, which is the value that people are gonna receive as a result of coming to your event. And so the value is not just things like the information they're going to receive, um, the products that they might walk away with, um, or the goodie bags, that sort of thing. But the value is also social value. So don't underestimate things like being able to network and promote your business, or simply being able to socialize with other people and being able to be seen. You would be surprised how many people will come to an event just to have cool pictures to post on Instagram. So don't underestimate the social value of your event because that can be huge and that also determines the cost of your event. So now what you want to do is take all of that information and put it together. You've got the budget together. You've got the number of people that you believe are going to attend your event. So take the budget, divide it by the number of people that you think are going to attend your event and then average that out and balance it with the market research that you've done to determine what the average cost of an event like yours would be for your specific audience. And then I do another step. I take that number and I, do, I multiply it by three. Now, this is a basic business practice because you wanna um, cover your costs, but you also want to have a profit, right? So I do three because that allows you to do two things. It allows you to cover your cost and your time as, as a professional event planner to pay yourself and also to then have enough revenue to then invest back into your business and pay for your next upcoming event or at least help fund it and help um, sponsor it in a way. Now that you have the basic information on how to price your tickets, you also want to think of another strategy, which is to have multiple ticket prices. You've seen this before. Events will have general admission, they'll have VIP tickets, they'll have, you know, one day passes, two day passes, whatever the case may be. And this is a great option to not only um, give more value to people depending on what they're willing to pay, but it also is a great way for you to gain revenue. Now, that, those ticket prices are all determined by the value of each different level of tickets. So for instance, VIP people, they're gonna pay a little bit more because they may get perks like meet and greets with your speakers, they may have reserved seating, they may get a swag bag, they may 
get a private area where they can go and get refreshments and that sort of thing. So when you price those types of tickets, you wanna use the same strategy that we talked about earlier, but you also want to add in those additional costs. So use your expertise as an event planner to determine what you think that additional ticket price would be. At the end of the day, there's no one size fits all way to price your event. But you've done your research, you have faith in your event, and just know that tickets will sell and people will show up. Believe that you did the best you could to price your event in a way that matched its value. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss any time that I post, follow me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.